Doo -doo 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 -doo. Magic for normies. Hi, everyone. It's magic for hey. normies. Hey, hey it's me, Pixie Kitten, and Zuby. Zuby. Hi. Zuby, I like Hi. your shirt. Oh, you like it? It's Baby Yoda. Say, yeah, it's Baby Yoda. I was about to say I like your shirt, too, Captain Marvel. Thanks. It's Captain Marvel. Um... This is actually a men's shirt because apparently American Eagle doesn't think that women like Marvel comics. What the hell? Really? Yeah. They didn't have a female None. one? That's None. Weird. No. How and rude. Especially with Captain Marvel. I know, right? It's 2020. Like, can we get with it? Please. <laughs> okay, but we're going to stay on track with our topics tonight. Maybe. We'll try. We'll Maybe. Try. Yeah, we'll see. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Magic hey. for Normies. Um, we're just, a, we're just a couple of casual magic players here talking about magic. And we're pretty normie. We're pretty... Um, yeah. You know, I was trying to think of another... Um, so I have that one commercial playing in, in my in my Magic with Zuby podcast. You know, yeah. the one that we made? Yes, 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 yes. That. Yes. And um, I've, been, I've been slowly brainstorming, like, another kind of commercial slash slash intro for us and all that so, okay so stay tuned for that i may have you record some more lines <laughs> Ooh, i love doing that that is so fun like if there is something that i would really enjoy doing it's being a voice actor that would be so fun so i'm excited really? yeah really? absolutely you, you, have you ever tried to like get into it or something no or? no i just no. think it would be fun to do voices what about um oh, oh god what is it called uh reading books or like doing audiobooks or something or that doesn't interest you um not 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 as much it's not quite the same you know yeah well, i mean you could still do the voices though of characters like especially if it's one of your favorite books yeah maybe i don't know like I don't love listening to audiobooks. I would rather yeah, like hear I. it, like read the book and hear it all in my head. But yeah. Um, okay. We are way off topic, like already. I don't know what's happened, but it's fine. It's but hey, you know that actually if you really enjoy voice acting, so I do. I was sort of re listening to my two hundredth episode of Magic with Zuby and there was a part in there that I was talking about where I came up with skits for all the planeswalkers and i came up with skits for chandra and liliana but i didn't want to voice act them so i may hit you up because i i have to find the old scripts for them that would be so fun somewhere. that would be so <laughs> fun um do you remember when i did a video a while back about the um arena voices and it was yeah. like it was like um, I played, like, I it was, like, doing the arena character voices in real life, and I, like, played the Chandra card, and I, like, said the voice line. Oh, yeah, And yeah, then yeah. I did the Nicol Bolas one where he's like, no! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he says that, but it was, it's just funny. It was like, I have to make a video about this. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm going to hit you up. I'm going to send you my scripts. Okay, that sounds fun. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, so... Tonight, we're um, going to talk about M21, but before we get into that, let's talk about what's been going on in your world lately. Zuby, you put out a bunch of magic with Zubies. You you did a bunch of stuff for the new set, every color. Yeah, I, did, I did a uh, complete set review of M21, and so I've done them before, and I'm trying out... I, this time, I did it a lot different, and... Um, I'm trying because, you know, people aren't going to come listen to my reviews if they want to, like, get better at the game and all that. <laughs> okay. We're that, just that, saying like, it like it is. Yeah, hey, hey, if you want to listen to my set reviews and learn all the secret ways to win pre-release, you're probably better off listening to someone else. Oh, but, okay. <laughs> but if you want to hear what I think are really cool arts, what are some really cool cards. I do talk about cards that, like, hey, would be good in limited or constructed it, or cards that are just, why was this even printed? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah. So I have fun doing them. They're fun to talk about. Yeah. I saw a lot of those coming out, like, all week. Yep, Set review I've got, for um, mommies. 
one more coming out tomorrow and then the last one coming out saturday sweet yeah, awesome set review for normies exactly Ooh, that should be like the subtitle for it so totally set review for normies totally just do it just use it put four normies on the end of like everything you do it's just you just should everyone should yeah yeah exactly i guess unless you're like a pro player or something yeah then, then don't you can't have you can't have our title yeah because if you want to like actually be good at magic don't yeah don't don't listen to our any of our <laughs> stuff don't don't listen to anything what we say or you could listen and maybe just laugh yeah yeah just laugh at how uh, ridiculous we are yeah and how bad at evaluating cards because I, I think there there had to have been some card in there like, oh, this is totally not going to be broken. And, you know, like, I, I totally think the new Teferi is not going to be broken in standard. Yeah. But watch, yeah. I'm going to be completely wrong at some point. Or... We're going to get we're going to get to discussing M21 in just oh, a yeah. bit oh, for yeah. sure. I have um, thoughts. Lots of them. Ooh. Yeah. Um. Other than that, I've been um doing some D&D. Oh, nice. We played some D&D last week. We did. I love it. And it was a lot of fun. You guys, like, poor, poor you, though. You didn't. <laughs> you I could. did so bad. I was rolling horribly. Um, I almost died at one point. At least I could heal myself. So there's that. Yes. I can't believe, like, how many net ones. But, hey, that happens. It happens. There is. I'm supposed to be, like, the tank of the group. And I'm, I'm like, the worst roller. It's just really embarrassing, honestly. Everyone has those nights in D&D. It's like, think of it as a, from a DM perspective where I can't hit any players at all. And it's like, they just steamroll through my encounters. I'm like, what's that? That sounds great to me, honestly. <laughs> I mean, what's the problem here? Uh, sounds terrible. Yeah. Sounds terrible. No, but um, other than that, not much else been... Oh my gosh, twerk's been insane. Like, yeah. it's been crazy. Very busy. Today's been the one day where it's been um, normal. It hasn't been insane insanity. Actually, mm. no, I take that back because I was woken right up at 6.30 a.m. this morning to do some work. So, never mind. 6.30? No. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, that that's but not how about cool. You? Um, I did the early access event, and um, I opened some mystery boosters last week. Oh, that's I think right. that was really fun. Um, those packs you got were insane. They were so good, right? Um, I really like the mystery boosters. They're a lot of fun. Um, I played some sealed at home. And that was fun. With the mystery boosters, that was fun, too. Yeah. Because they're just all so, like, everything's so random. So yeah, yeah. what you're putting together is just, like, this wild hodgepodge. But it's really fun. I like, I really like playing that way. Um, no, I, I, I wish I played Sealed of that. It looks fun. Yeah, it was. It was great. My deck was good. I won. I can't. Oh, I've been meaning to tell you, Zuby. I have a confession to make. Uh-oh. Um... This, so this reminds me, I, we were talking about the Mystery Booster Seal that I played. I also played a sealed game at home with Mr. Kitten, and it was um, Theros? Theros? It was Theros? Um, what's the set that has the Dream Trawler in it? Is That's it Theros. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. I have to, I took a picture of my deck. I built an Esper deck with dream trawler in it <clears throat> and it was honestly amazing it was such a good deck like it was oh, the best deck God. ever but it was oh, esper God. and it had dream trawler and it was oh, so evil gosh. you're you're slowly i'm not like, no i'm yeah, not changing no it was a yeah. sealed it was a <laughs> limited event like uh, you have to use what you have right you have to build with like i yeah. open dream trawler and i'm like i have to use this card i know it's good i have to use it you're you're gonna you're i'm gonna not changing it. i'm not you changing D didn't anakin skywalker say the same thing and then eventually the the sand people kidnapped his mother or something and <laughs> i don't know because i haven't watched those old movies 
But... Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not changing. I didn't put any counter spells in the deck. It's still Dream Trawler, though. <laughs> He's so hard to get rid of. Dream Trawler is so nasty. It's such a good card. I had to put it in there. It, it is. It's ridiculously good. Yeah. Like, if it's <gasps> once it's out on play, if there's not a board wipe, you've... You went, you've won. You've won, yeah. Um, Efren just said in chat, Anakin also went, No! I thought you didn't watch those old movies, so how would you know? I've seen the part where he turns into, like, a little burnt, crisp French fry. I don't know. It's it's gross. I don't know what he is. I don't know what happens. I mean, it's no wonder he turned evil. The poor guy he got burned to a crisp. It was just, like, brutal, honestly. He was just trying to do the right thing. Was he trying to do the right thing? He was trying to do the right thing while murdering a whole bunch of people. Okay. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, so, additionally, I'm going to go ahead and say this. I did play a sealed event for the Early Access event. I played a sealed event for the Early Access event. Yes. Yes. I opened it to Fairy, and I didn't Ooh. play it. I did not play Whoa. it. Whoa. Why not? Because that would be sort of the same thing like Dream Trawler. <laughs> no, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's next well, level. No, That's it's next level. Such a it's such a good card though in sealed it the the card draw it gets i didn't you. play it i did couldn't you just do not it ha you, you did you either refuse or you didn't have enough blue i refused okay i legitimately <laughs> just was like i'm not i can't even look at the blue <laughs> cards i will not play this so, so you okay. Okay, yeah. okay yeah yeah i didn't play it so I'm there's sure. that but I will share the picture of the sealed deck that I built with the Dream Trawler in it in your Discord and show you. Okay, it was I such think a I good remember deck. you posting that on Twitter. No, I didn't post. I haven't told anybody. No, you didn't? I have not revealed oh. this secret. This is the first time I've talked about it out loud. Oh, okay. I built maybe, an Esper deck. I could have sworn, maybe, I don't know. I could have swore this happened before or something. I don't know. I think, maybe. I think in the past I've built Is It decks. Maybe. Because maybe Is It... Cool. Is it is a different thing though, because like that's a legitimate thing. If you're playing red yeah, is, and blue, is it's not as worse as Esper. No, it's not. Esper is way worse. Way, it it way really worse. is. Yeah. Um. Oh. Um. That's right. Uh. Do you want to talk about your awesome pulls that you got and the mystery boosters that you opened up? I don't remember what I pulled. I don't remember you got what two I pulled. Oil cards that are amazing. <gasps> oh my god! Yes, those. Um. <laughs> This is going to be spoilers for anybody who wants to watch the replay later. But I opened two foil storm crows. That I, I'm, I'm jealous. Shook. I can't believe it. Yeah, I know. Like it was wild. I opened a whole box of mystery boosters and to get a single foil storm crow. I know. I mean, it's like the best card in it existence. Really is. So and it's reached sorry. the level of meme status. It really has. I'm sorry you didn't get any. That's sad yeah yeah slightly that's now and you got some other good pulls too but yeah if you want if you want them to watch the video they were um i do some pretty craziness pretty craziness there yeah it was fun it was a lot of fun i really liked the mystery boosters yeah. um so other than that i just i played the early access event yesterday and that's about all i've been up to really lately Sweet. oh oh before we jump into topics um I've got a case of M21 coming, but I've also got Ooh. a box of Jumpstart coming, too. Oh, fun. So when we get that Jumpstart box, um, I, we need to do the Jumpstart stream that we talked about, like, first starting this show. Yes, we should. Um, definitely. I can't I agree. wait for that. I am so excited for Jumpstart. We're going to talk about it a little bit later. But yeah, yeah, that's fun. So let's go ahead and do our giveaway. Let's do a giveaway for, um, okay, we're doing a giveaway tonight for some very awesome Magic for Normies play mats. I'm going to change my screen. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, is there a way to share it? Yep. So right now I'm showing everybody the play mat. So I designed this play mat. Make sure zoom in on that too if you can. Okay, okay, that okay. Freaking awesome. I love it. It's it's so cool, right? Um 
It's a Magic for Normies playmat. And so it's available on Inked Gaming now. But we're doing a giveaway right now for one of them. And then we're going to do another giveaway at the end of this episode for another playmat. We're giving away two playmats tonight. So Ooh. this is what it looks like. It's like this really cool, like sort of like Miami vibe. It's like yeah. the vaporwave style, magic for normies. Everybody wants to play magic on this play mat. Oh my god, I really want this play mat. <laughs> I Can say. I enter? Um, no, you can't enter. Oh. You and I are not allowed to enter. Come on. Fine. All right. All right. We're the no, we're the, the, the magic for mat normies. Is legitimately cool. Like so I, I'm not cool. just saying that because I know I'm part of the podcast, but this is something to play mat like. It's it's totally that '80s Miami Vice vibe or whatever. It's so cool. Um, if anybody doesn't win the giveaway and wants to actually get one of these, you can you can find it um, on Inked Gaming. But use my um, referral if you go to Inked Gaming. So just go to <laughs> InkedGaming.com backslash Pixie Kitten. And then it like sure gives me that, this um, it, link in the show notes too. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll definitely do it. Okay, so everybody who's in chat right now, if you want to be entered into the giveaway for the first playmat right now, type a number one in chat right now, and you will be entered into the giveaway. What's wrong with backslash? backslash what? why why is Efren making fun of me for saying backslash oh i don't know am i supposed to just say slash okay Back type slash front slash i don't know yeah whatever Forward slash yeah. yeah okay so everybody type a one in chat and then um zuby is going to do the giveaway for us on the wheel of fortune yeah i have i've got a little wheel that i'm ready to make here we just okay. need to know how many people are going to enter here we need folks to enter hello enter the giveaway folks please anybody just type a one in chat just do it folks mm, i guess not nobody wants to win the play mat not even nephron dang wow i'm gonna type a one in chat i did it Zuby, put yourself put yourself in there, Zuby. <laughs> we've we've got to get some entries. I know, right? I know. Um, okay, let's see. So I'm gonna put you back on the screen, Zuby. Hey, oh, NCPD Tom. Tom, thank you for the follow. Would you like to win a play mat? Type a one in chat right now. Do it. Um, uh, Efren. Okay, Zuby, you're back up. Sweet. This is you. Oh, whoa, just me. Yeah, it's just Hi. you. Actually, I'm oh, there in the corner. Do I need to share the screen or something? Um, yeah, you can share your screen. Oh, okay. Um, hold on, make sure I'm doing this correctly, y'all. Okay. Um, and again, we're do we're gonna do a giveaway at the beginning of this episode, and we're also gonna do a giveaway at the end of this episode. So you have two chances to win tonight. Yes, you do. We should have to beat Zuby and Street Fighter to win. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Um. Yeah. Then no one would ever win the playmat. Oh dang. Zuby would just have all the playmats. Or you could just play me in a game of magic and completely beat me. Whoa. Whoa. Street Fighter 2 for normies. Oh, no, no, no. What they got to do is they got to beat my, uh, my uh, speed run of Super Mario World that I did months and months ago. How fast did you do it? Like in 13 minutes and 10 seconds. Oh, my God. That's insane. Oh yeah, Efren and Ted were there. Uh, wow, watching me. it was intense. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Okay, so anybody can still enter if they type a one in the chat now. I've got five entries. Well, two of them are including us, but we can't win. <laughs> I mean, 
I guess technically we can. Why not? This is our we giveaway, put, we so put, we're the we one making the fairy rules here. In there. Teferi. And Ulamog are entries. Um, no, Teferi is not allowed to win. He should be. No. Wow. Mm -mm. I'm totally against that. Fine. Let's leave Teferi and Ulamog out of this. Yeah, Teferi and Ulamog are out. But anybody else who is in chat can enter. You just gotta type a one in the chat. You can be entered to win this sweet play mat. Press one if you want a chance to win this play mat. Yay! Okay, well let's just go ahead with um what we've got now. And then okay. we'll do we're gonna do another giveaway at the end. So everybody gets a chance. Wait a second, let me let me put you back on the screen. Okay. Oh, okay. I changed it to the Magic for Normies playmat to just show it off. This is going to be the best, best part, part of the audio podcast. Efren, shut up! Efren, see, I put Efren is secretly the worst. And that's why, Efren. All right. All right, are we ready to spin this? Yep. Jank Bank, do you want to enter in this giveaway? I just saw you type. Press one if you want to enter in the giveaway. I'll change it right now. Yeah, you can be entered to win a play mat, a Magic from Nermy's play mat. Jank Bank. Let's just add the Jank Bank. The yeah, Jank Bank definitely wants to win this play mat. Who yeah. doesn't? I know, right? It's sweet. It's gonna have no choice but to be entered. Um, <laughs> all right, are we ready to <laughs> click to spin? I think we're ready. Let's do it. All right. Here so, we go. Here we go. Ah! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> Baltin! <laughs> yes! Congratulations, Baltin! You won! You won to play Sweet. that! Um, I will... Oh. oh, I better stop sharing my screen. Now. Yeah. I will um, get your information over to Inked Gaming so they can send you one of these sweet play mats. Yay! Um, Baltan, I'm writing your name down so that I don't forget to do that after this show. Congrats! Hey, there's the jank bank. Um, hey. Yeah. Okay. So, that's, that was it. That was our first giveaway. Again, we're going to do another one at the end of the episode. So don't worry. If you didn't win now, you have yes. one more chance. Don't Baltan you worry. Has one more chance to win. Wait, Baltan can't win again? What? Oh, I, okay. I'll take him off then. Okay, maybe, yeah. Maybe he wants two Magic for Normies play mats. No, no, no. We have to give somebody else a chance is what That's we do. That's true. That's true. That's true. If I win, I will only accept it if you add the stitched border. Efren. And colored back. No, Why are Efren. you the worst, Efren? <laughs> Literally. He's he's like, so out of the three cards for your owners, he's the prima donna. Yeah, you could say that. You mm -hmm. know he has EDH decks that are like all foil. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, this podcast is sponsored by Cardsphere.com. It is. <laughs> Use them to buy and sell. <laughs> your... Cards. Magic card or something. Something, um, yeah, something. When when are they going to start getting into Pokemon? You need to talk to Ted. I don't know. Ted, Efren. Do I it. need it for my bougie pack openings. <laughs> That's right. He just he did that bougie in pack in 8K. Opening. Yeah. It was only in 4K though. It was the worst. He filmed it in 8K, but his I don't. What happened? Your computer couldn't do it. No, I think uh, YouTube can only render it up to 4K or something. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, and I, it, it was pretty. It was pretty disgusting. Yeah, like, it was. 4K I couldn't. Is, I couldn't even watch it. Yeah, it was peasant. Yeah. It was. It was like watching 480p. Like oh I was watching on, on on my tube TV right behind me. Wow. <laughs> um, the Jank Bank says he has a migraine. I'm very sorry for that oh, but thank okay. thank you for being here anyways this thank is not you. where i would be if i had a migraine so we really appreciate it yeah for sure <laughs> okay internet scrubs wow maybe 
listen, you know what? listen to this effort guy. I know, right? We're moving on. We can't even deal with him. When he comes on and plays EDH again, we're just going to automatically target him. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, congrats, Balsian, on your play mat win. I'm very excited for you. Um, yeah, let's, good job. Let's talk about what we're going to talk about tonight. Um, <laughs> M21 is what we're starting with. Why are you <laughs> laughing? That was, that was too funny. Let's talk about what we're going to talk about. I know. You're <laughs> laughing and... Mr. Kitten is over here laughing too. Like, <laughs> you know what? I said that on purpose. Hey, you know what? Sometimes, mm -hmm. especially when we're live and we don't, you know, things just come out of our mouths or yeah. just, I don't know. It happens. Just, sometimes you don't even know what you say. It's true. It's really true. Um. Okay. So I don't think you had an opportunity to play in the early access event yesterday. No, I wasn't feeling it. And I wasn't feeling that good either, to be honest. But you did get to play some today with the yes. new set. What are your thoughts initially? Well, I only really played historic. Well, no, no, I lied. I did play a little bit of standard, and I played this really weird teamer mutate deck that Ew. could get that could get Ugin out pretty early. Because that, that <laughs> that's sort of been my goal is I want to play decks that gets Ugin out as quickly as I can. Mm. And I mm -mm -mm. found this teamer deck team or mutate deck that allows me to do that gross that to is get gross. like ugin out by turn four or five um i had ugin in my sealed deck that i played yesterday and i did put that card in I didn't put teferi in but i did put ugin in oh you have to put ugin in Heck yeah on. i did it was fun um that's interesting i don't i didn't see anybody playing any decks like that yesterday i saw some teamer stuff but i didn't I don't remember saying Ugin with it, but maybe it it just never came out. I don't know. Yeah, Total MTG was telling me that there there were some people playing a like a teamer reclamation deck where they were sort of taking extra turns mm. where they 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 would you know have all their lands untapped and then on your upkeep they would play that end the turn card. Oh. So you don't even get your turn; it goes right back to their turn. Gross. I know. Oh no. When he told me that, it made me really hate it. Yeah. Ew. That's gross. Yeah. It does sound gross. Um I had fun playing some Orzov life drain stuff. Ooh. That's I think that's gonna be um pretty decent with Vito. Um Oh yeah. Yeah, there's there was some really good Orzov Orzov stuff going on. I played some um, cat dog tribal stuff, and I saw a lot of people playing that too. So that was oh, fun. Really? Yeah, I did. Oh, Yesterday really? I did. That was fun. I don't know how good it's going to be. Like, I don't know if people will actually continue playing that, but it was fun. Um, I saw a lot of Teferi, obviously. Oh, yeah. Everybody wants to do the new Teferi. Oh my gosh, I played I played multiple games where people were playing like with both Teferis. Um, I played one game where I, I played against somebody who was playing, they at one point had like six Planeswalkers out, they had Narset out, they had both Teferis out, they had Ugin out, oh my they gosh. had um, Kaya out, it was an Esper deck. It, it was just miserable and I was like, you're not doing any damage to me. Like, you're not doing anything except just drawing cards and removing all of my stuff. Like, this is horrible. Yeah, I mean. I, I hated it. I th those hated decks it. are, like, valid, but so unfun. Yeah. It's so unfun to play against those decks. And as much as I say I can't wait for Standard to rotate, but since I'm just playing Historic right now on Arena, mm -hmm. it's it doesn't matter what rotation happens. Cause... Yeah. Well, and Historic has such a different meta than Standard. Sort of. Yeah. You want to know what I come come up against in Historic? Mono Red. Yeah. Mono White. Ew. And Esper Control. <laughs> Dang. Well, that's not fun. Well, that's when I'm playing ranked. I did get up to Platinum rank this season mm. for the first time ever well no 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 i take that back i did get a platinum i don't remember i think it was like guilds of ravnica or something um but 
first time in like forever. Nice. And then I realized why the hell would I want to do this every month? And it's for people that that get mythic or you know hire every month. Hey, kudos to you because I couldn't do that. It, it was just <sighs> yeah. The, the the way I did it was I literally only played mono white or mono red in ranked. It's tough. I um. As a normie, I just don't enjoy playing the same thing over and over and over and playing yeah. against the same thing over and over and over. It was pretty mind-numbing. Like, yeah. I, I wanted to see if I could get past gold, which, you know, I haven't done in, like, a years now or, like, yeah, almost two years now. And, yeah. Um, and... So what I did was I had, you know, Arena on one screen and on the other screen, I just had The Simpsons playing. You know, I'm playing Mono Red. I don't need to You're think. Like, I right? need a distraction because yeah. this is awful. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I also played um, a Simic deck that our friend Muhammad built for me. And I know, I know, I know, I didn't want to play it, but I was like, okay, I'll try it out, you know. Um, but it was actually really fun because it played. Um, so, you know that card from Ikoria, that legendary creature, Kinnon something? Oh, yeah, Kinnon Bond. Yeah, whatever. so he makes all your, so he makes anything that taps for mana that's not a land, like, Du you get double the amount. Yeah. Okay, so there's this new card in M21 that um, it's an artifact and you tap it for five colorless mana. Um, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, keep going. Keep yeah, going. so it was kind of like um, you just you just had like so much mana. Like you would j you're just playing and getting so much mana. Am I pronouncing the name wrong? Kinnan? Is it pronounced Kinnan? Not like Kinnan? Do, do we need to have another episode where we try to pronounce Here names we and... go. Here we go. <laughs> I just thought it was Kinnan. I'm sorry. I, I, I call it Kinnan too. Kinnan? Oh. Kinnan. So. Efren, do, do you want me Efren... to just mute him for like a minute or something? <laughs> <laughs> so the. the um, it had, oh, it had the Nyxbloom Ancient. That's the card mm. that, like, triples your mana, uh, right? So you just, like, so literally nice. had millions of mana, and then you you had um, Endraise Forerunners was one of the creatures. And so Kinnon's activate ability is, like, look at the top five cards of your library and put a creature card onto the battlefield. But his activate ability is, like, seven, so it's expensive. But when you have, like, 57 mana, who cares, right? So you would just do that multiple times a turn and bring all these creatures out that had, like, haste and trample. And then also had, like, finale of devastation. Yeah. It's a green card that, like, gives all your creatures whatever, okay, plus, plus whatever, eight. plus whatever. So it was, it was actually pretty fun. I mean, I don't like to play blue, but this combo... It was fun. There weren't really even that many blue cards in it. You're going to have to send me that deck list because that I does will. Sound fun. Yeah, it was. It really was fun. It was just like weird and kind of yeah. complicated because I was like, I don't know how much mana I have. Like, I can't add this up in my head because it was just a lot. But yeah, yeah, yeah. it was fun. Yeah, that, that's what's always tough, you know, when you have all those mana doublers and triplers. And yes. All that, just trying to figure out how much mana you have. Yes. Especially in EDH when you've got like, you already have 20 lands out and then you've got mana doublers and stuff. You're like, mm -hmm. I don't know, swing, like tap for 50 maybe? Exactly. Yeah. It was really fun though. So I enjoyed that deck a lot. And also, um, what was the other deck you really liked? Oh, Did you it, do your Thirsty Vampire one? I played the Thirsty Vampires one a little bit. But there was another one that um, Efren sent me that he found another streamer playing with. And it was um, an Abzan. It was like an Abzan life drain one. It was kind of like a life gain life drain because Vito does whenever you gain life, your opponent loses that much life. So you need oh, to gain life to do that. It was really great, actually. It was fun. 
sounds miserable. Yeah. I, 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 I guess I just need to suck it up and get on the Orzov train, because I hate playing against it. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I can see that. Like, I can understand anybody, like, not liking something, but at least, like, you're getting killed, right? At least you're dying. Unlike Teferi, who's not killing you and not doing anything. He's making your life miserable. He, it's just like your opponent's just drawing cards, but not actually doing anything. Hey, Th drawing cards is part of the game. But they're just like removing all of your stuff. You can't do yeah. anything, and they're not doing anything. And it's just like, why am I here? Dang. That's my thought. Hey. Pixie Kitten Rage. That's my thought. Yeah, that's my <laughs> thought about it. Um, the other card that... should never, ever, ever play Grand Arbiter against you. Please don't. Please don't. I just will be angry. And I don't want to be angry. <laughs> I don't want to. So please don't do that to me. The other card that I really hated... Because um, this is this is just a hate session at this point. Was... Yeah, um, let the hate flow. That, <laughs> oh my god, this is so dark side, right? It really it, it is. Um, the other card I hated was the Brash Taunter. It is a red goblin. Oh, oh, Stuffy Doll. Stuffy Doll Goblin. Do, do you what? Know the card, do you know the card Stuffy Doll? No. So Stuffy Doll um, is an artifact creature that does pretty much the same thing, but it, it can't attack or anything, but whenever it's dealt damage, you, you choose a target opponent, and it deals that much damage whenever... Stuffy doll gets hit or something. Okay. I freaking love the art of Brash Taunter. It's probably. I'm going like... to share it. I'm going to share it real quick. Brash Taunter. Oh, you like this art? It's so cute. And okay. He, like, he, he kind of reminds me of like a, like a little 1920s, you know. Like, uh, put them up, put them up. Yeah, kind of, up. kind of. Yeah, kind of. Um, but this, this guy, you would be surprised at how annoying this guy is right here. So um, I sent you in chat and Discord just now, Stuffy Doll. That, that's what Stuffy Doll does. And he, he's pretty much, he's pretty much a goblin Stuffy Doll. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, so the Brash Taunter... First of all, is a 1-1. One, one. Okay, yeah. so you're like, oh, whatever. But he's indestructible. Um, so when Brash Taunter is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target opponent. You can yes. pay three, tap him, and he fights another target creature. So, like, if you have an 8-8 eight, eight out, you, for, you, know, you have your Brash Taunter. The, you have, your opponent has a Brash Taunter. They make it fight your 8-8. Eight, eight. The Brash Taunter is dealt 8 damage, and then the Brash Taunter does eight damage to your face. I love it. It's love awful. It. It's actually awful. It's amazing. And it's just doing so much damage to you over and over. And you can't do anything to it because it's indestructible. You can exile it. Yeah, but like that's not easy. Well, if you're playing Orzhov, it is. But not if you're playing Orzhov Life Drain. That, that's true, that's true. Yeah. But but hopefully by then, like, if you're playing Orzhov Life Drain, you should have a lot of life then. Yeah, but it's still, like, it's annoying. Come on, just agree with oh, me. Oh my gosh, so, okay, Brash Taunter <gasps> with Fiery Emancipation. <sighs> <laughs> it's not blue. It's not blue. Now, so I mean... I that is something oh, I could embrace X, playing. Two with two, two. A minus okay. X, minus X, yeah. So also the fiery emancipation, which I realized yesterday as I was playing, it triples the amount of damage, not just red damage, any damage of oh, any it's color. All damage? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, so that even affects the opponent as well? No, it's only damage that you're doing, but oh. you don't have to play mono red necessarily. So I could do Jeskai Control <laughs> and play this. I mean, I guess or, so. Or, or is it Control? If you Ooh. wanted to be an absolute piece of trash, sure. <laughs> oh, damn. 
We're not messing around tonight. We're not messing around. Dang, Pix yeah. is on fire. Holy yeah. Damn. Sorry, sorry, not sorry, actually. Yeah, I realized that. Um, actually, I played a deck, and I had Torbrand and Fire Emancipation out at the same time. But my opponent was playing some bullshit, and I just lost both of them before I did any damage at all. It was it was of bad. The person is Jeskai because Jeskai is amazing. Jeskai is not good. Jeskai, Bant, Esper, some of the best colors. <sighs> okay, We're, what's our next topic? <laughs> what's our next topic? Well, no, you also there was one other card you didn't mention. Um, what is Tavern it? Tavern Swindler. Oh, okay. So I was gonna say my favorite cards. Okay, yeah. yes. So Vito obviously is my favorite card. He's a vampire that just like does this amazing life drain thing. Um, and then the Tavern Swindler. Okay, let me share. I I will pull this card up again. Okay, hold on. Tavern Swindler. He is on a warpath tonight. Sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. No, you're not. It's okay, though. We love it. This is the real me. This is the real me. Okay, sorry. Um, Tavern Swindler. This was one of my favorite cards to play. So oh, that's, that's a reprint card. I did not know that. Apparently, it is a reprint. Yep. It was in Battle Bond oh, and Return to... Oh, Return to Ravnica. Return to Ravnica. Uh-huh. So, that's cool. I didn't know. Yeah, so... Um, it's a 2-2 two, two for 2. You tap it. You pay 3 life. Flip a coin. If you win the flip, you gain 6 life. How much fun is that, right? Oh, that would be good with that, um, was it that Thirsting Patrician or something? Yes. Right? And with Veto, because if you gain the 6 life, then your opponent's going to take 6 life. Oh, that's right. That's right. I, I keep thinking Veto's the other part of the... The sanguine combo whenever your opponent gains life they loot or you or whatever it's the um, other half of the combo so whenever you gain life target opponent loses that much life and, yeah whenever you gain life target opponent loses that much life and then he yeah. can give all of your creatures life link yeah that's disgusting but the ta but the but that with the tavern swindler like this card to me is just like you're, you're not going to get it every time, right? You're going to sometimes lose. But it's just like the uh, yeah. risk. It's, so it's, it's fun. It's a 50 chance. Yeah, yeah. You're gambling. I really like that. I really, really, really like that. A lot. Yeah. That's my favorite card in the whole Plus, set. Plus, if, if you found a way to give Tavern Swindler Vigilance. To, oh, that the, would be great. You could do it at the end of their turn. Do the tap. Yeah. Ooh. Like well, that. you can always do it at the end of their turn. Well, yeah, but I mean, not if you're gonna attack. If you with it, if so. you attack with it, gotcha. Yeah, 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 I see. Yeah, but um, yeah, that was that's my favorite card. That's awesome. I don't have a. Well, actually, I I lied because um, a uh, card sphere. I I wrote some, like a little mini article for card sphere about my favorite cards of M twenty one, and um, I I said fiery emancipation's like my favorite card. Ooh. And it's not blue. It's, it's not. not blue? No, it's not. I, I don't even think I said a blue card was like my favorite. I don't even think a blue card made my favorite card. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did a Fiery Emancipation, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. And then I did Eliminate that black card, which we needed last year mm. to get rid of Baby Teferi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then Nine Lives. And I only oh. really said Nine Lives because of the art. Yes. That, that was kind of fun and weird also, right? It's just kind of fun. So Baltan's scared for Pixie in Vegas now? Oh, next year? <laughs> eh, I'm not actually a gambler. Like, in real life, I, I have no... Like, gambling does not appeal to me at all. I wouldn't yeah. do it. I find it boring. Like, um, the when we went to Vegas last year, uh, my wife and I, mm -hmm. we I, I can see how people get addicted to it because we won $200 mm -hmm. uh, on a slot machine. I'm just... we were And I had to... We both agreed, like, let's stop now. Because yeah. you get you get that rush, that high of like, oh my god, we could win, you know, so much money. And yeah. we were just like, nope, nope, we're done. We're done. <laughs> yeah. I would not actually do that in real life. Like, I, when I'm it comes to, like, actually. real money, I'm just like, no. Mm -mm. I, 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 I find, 
I found myself getting bored easily. Yeah. Like, it just wasn't fun. Like, I tried blackjack. I tried, like, craps and slots and all that. And it's like, yeah. you, you put down, like, five bucks on a bet. Oh, you lost. You're like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But, like, for a game, like, when it's magic and it's just, like, win or lose, that yeah. I like That's the randomness of that. A, yeah. a lot that appeals to me did anyone try nine lives yesterday i did not i don't i don't think i played any decks that even that even had nine lives in it yeah i was about to ask like did you see it at all no i didn't see anybody else play it nobody played it against me either Ooh, that's right there so watsi announced the amonkhet remastered so what's gonna hopefully they have that one card solemnity or solemnity or so it's it's an enchantment <laughs> card where, like, you can't get any kind of counters or something on, oh. on your permanents. Oh. So what that means if you play nine lives, you know, you don't put counters on nine lives. So you just keep not taking any damage. Oh, dang. Yeah. Oh, wow. So... Th th there it is. So, so... Yeah, players can't get counters. Can counters can't be put on artifacts, creatures, enchantments, or lands. Okay, and so with nine lives... Yep, you never take any damage. Well, okay, so that's not like an infinite combo. It's just like it's you it just means, can't lose. Yeah, so ooh, 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 oh my god, okay, okay. Oh, I, I just thought of it, I just thought of it. I'm getting so excited now. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, so... Nine lives, okay. solemnity or however you say it, plus Lich's Mastery. What does Lich's Mastery do? So Lich's Mastery, um, you literally can't lose the game. Um, or hold, hold on, l let me find it and read it. Because Lich's okay. Mastery was my favorite card in Dominaria. Okay. Um, so it has Hexproof. You can't lose the game, game. Whenever you gain life, you draw that many cards. Whenever you lose a life, for each one life you lost, exile a permanent you control or a card from your hand or graveyard. And when it leaves the battlefield, you lose the game. But if you're not taking any damage, you never, ever have to exile anything. Oh, my gosh. I'm totally playing that. Oh, my gosh. Stop, Zuby. Stop. It sounds amazing. No. It's going to be super hard to pull off, but I'll try to do it at least once. Solemn, solemn nitty. Solemnity, solemnity. That doesn't sound right. Solemnity, some so, so, Solem whatever Efren. Solemnity. Right. Whatever Efren. Yeah, whatever Efren. Whatever. We don't know. We don't know how to pronounce it. Wow. Okay, so you're getting ideas. That's that's good. That's fine. That's okay for your historic decks. Whatever. Yeah. It's all good. Um, okay, so anything else about M21 that you want to mention? I know you haven't gotten to play it much. I'm just, I'm really excited to play some more Life Drain stuff. Yeah, I, I want to see some of your deck list for the Life Drain and all that. I want to okay. try it out. Yeah, I'll share them with you for sure. Okay. I'll share them in your Discord. Sweet. How about that? Um, so, big announcement, Arena is now on Mac. Yeah, and it's not that great. Yeah, I saw that. I saw so many people complaining about it, and I was like, well, you got it, so, like, YOLO, right? I was so right? excited about it. I, I installed it right away, um, and immediately, like, I didn't even try playing a game because I can't full screen the application. Oh. And, and what sucks is because, you know, I've got my Mac laptop and all that and the resolution is so like it's like a 4k resolution but the program looks so small i'm like what? how the fuck am i gonna play oh no <laughs> that's weird well yeah. i'm sure they've got some stuff to I'm sure iron they'll out figure with out that some bugs and all that stuff i mean i'm not yeah. in that big of a rush to play it but at least i have the option yeah of being able to play it you could like use a big magnifying glass and just be like true What's True. going on here? It's better than nothing, right? Sure. I guess. Um, we kind of touched on Jumpstart a little, a little bit ago, but Jumpstart. All, I think all of the previews have been released for Jumpstart. 
Yeah, I think so. It looks really fun. I'm really excited to play some Jumpstart. There, there's also some reprints in here that are insane reprints, too. Yeah, I'm really excited for it. Um, we are going to try to... You and I are going to try to play a game yeah. of Jumpstart once it comes out against each other. We're going to yes. do a special Jumpstart for Normie's episode. Um... But I think Jumpstart is, like, a great product for a new or a super casual player. Like, a oh, really yeah. great like, product. Like, I know we, like, that was one of our first episodes we talked about it. But now that we actually know what cards are in here, mm -hmm. I'm more excited about this than ever. Just, just the fact that, you know, n not only is this great for normies, but mm -hmm. especially if you want to teach someone that's newer to the game mm -hmm. too you get like here have two packs of jumpstart boom let's play right yeah you know? sleeve them up real quick and let's play let's yeah go. or if you're like super new you don't even know what sleeves are and you just play with I your know, cards right? yeah that was me so, like not that long ago so i so you know i played back in urza saga and then i played again during kamigawa and I, I, I didn't play again till M13. I think M13 was just coming out. And that was when I didn't start getting sleeves. But before I got back into it, um, back in M13, I had all my cards. Pe pe when people hear this, they'll probably cringe. I had all my uh -oh. cards um, wrapped around with rubber bands. <gasps> oh, no, <laughs> Zuby. I didn't know at the time. And... And, and now, as, as I remember that, going through a lot of those cards, like, some of those cards I have are, you know, worth a lot of money. And yeah. Just, like, why did I ever put them in rubber bands? And I didn't, like you said, I you didn't don't know. Back then. Yeah, you don't you know. Didn't know and... Yeah. I can remember um, I made a video or something very early on, and somebody commented on my video, and they're like, oh, you must be rich. You don't play with sleeves. And I was like, I literally don't even know what you're talking about. And oh yeah, it, and now that I think about it, I'm like, why would a rich person not play with sleeves? Like that doesn't even make sense, like at all. Yeah, but I, I mean, was I was play. It was just like a, it was like a video of me doing whatever, and so the cards didn't have sleeves on. I wasn't even really playing. But yeah, I mean, I, the the only way I could even see that if you were rich and. You were playing like a vintage deck with black lotuses and all these dual lands and all that stuff, and but like, you yeah, would I'm have play with no sleeves, but yeah, but you would like everybody would like you just would you would always have sleeves on the deck, yeah, yeah that was I don't know, people are really stupid people on YouTube, terrible. yeah, they can be, yeah, um, yeah, that's funny. So, um, I'm really excited for Jumpstart. Like, yeah. it looks really fun. I can't wait. It's going to be I great. Know, and some of the reprints in it are just so good in it. Um, yeah, like, and, I'm and, really and excited about the vampires. The card, yeah. Just going to say it. A lot it. of the cards are coming to Arena, too. Yes. A lot of them are. Most of them. I think most of them are. There's only, like, yeah, a handful they're, that they're swapping yeah. out or something. Yeah, and what what makes me sad about it is um one of the cards they're not putting in is lightning bolt. Mm -hmm. So that kind of tells me are we never ever getting lightning bolt in standard? That kind of makes me sad. Yeah. I mean, I think it's just I think it's just too powerful, right? I guess. Yeah. I think that's what they're saying. It's too powerful. Whatever. Whatever. I'm sorry. Does that hurt your heart? <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, just, um, it's not happening. I'm just I'm just scrolling through the list here real quick, um, because I can't remember everything that was put in here. I can't um, either. And I I mentioned scrolling. this um, I mentioned this in your Discord, but it's kind of overwhelming to get yes. previews for two different products at one time. Well, that's what happened during Ikoria, remember? Yeah. Like, the commander, like I couldn't exactly. tell which one was which. And I, I kind of feel that way with M21 and Jumpstart as well. Like, they didn't do, they didn't release everything at the same time, but it was like there was no break in between the two releases. Like, it oh, was yeah. just continuous. 
And so it's just kind of confusing to keep up with what's what. And I just it wish... It's a little exhausting, too. I wish it was spaced out a little bit more. Like, at least, like, just a week. Just even a week between that would be nice. Yeah. I don't know. That's just me. I'm just a normie, and I just can't remember everything at one time. Oh, no, I know I know what you mean. It's um, I've already forgotten everything that's in Jumpstart yeah, already. Totally. And, and even though I just did a complete set review of um, <laughs> M21, I, I've pretty much forgotten every single card, too. Yeah. <laughs> um, M21, I really like Corsets, but I just really, I don't like Teferi. He's... He's evil. Yeah, no, He's evil. I, I do want to um I do want to stream some drafts of Corset 21 on, on yeah. Arena. Because I love drafting corsets because I yeah. think like we talked about before, they're just a lot simpler. Yes. They're not too many crazy mechanics and all mm -hmm. that. And it, it it it's fun when it's not so complicated like yes. how like Corea was. I totally agree. I totally agree. Um yeah, so let's talk about next. We're going to talk about some of our favorite creators. Zuby and I each yeah. have a creator that we're going to share with you all that we really like. Um, so, Zuby, why don't you go first? Yeah, so uh, we talked about this the other day because one of the things that I did a lot of when I was really brand new to the community. I wanted mm -hmm. to give shout outs to people. And, you know, I'm not saying like, hey, we're big, awesome names and all that stuff. But we've, we've both come, you know, a long way, you know, since the beginning. And it can be, it like, especially when you're newer and don't really know anybody and you're still like pretty small, you don't have a whole lot of people watching. It's always, I always felt like, hey, you, you know what we can do, even though we're small time, we can still maybe give some shout outs to some people that we like enjoy yeah. maybe that aren't the big names out there that everybody knows and mm -hmm. you know just to say like hey you know check these people out because they're cool yeah and all that stuff so this is where this came from and um the first people i wanted to give a shout out to are the lovely ladies of tap that mtg mm -hmm. they um did i ever tell you the story of how i actually came to meet them i don't think so <clears throat> So it was a look. So it was something happened to them that was unfortunate, but actually turned out to be for the good in the long run. So someone was um, posing as me on their YouTube channel, constantly like, leaving a lot of bad comments. What? Posing me. Yeah, saying like, you know, you'll never be on my podcast, and you know, you're terrible. Like, just a lot of bad stuff. And um, oh my god. Yet JJ from MTG Strategist like made me aware of it, and mm -hmm. I I reached out to the two ladies immediately. Like I am so sorry, I would never ever do that. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and th they they understood and all that stuff. And so then we just started talking more and more, and we we played EDH with them, mm -hmm. and um, I had them on my podcast. They're just really, really two cool ladies and they even own a um game store too up in canada yeah i watched your episode um one of your podcast episodes with them and yeah, yeah they seem really cool i did not know that they owned a game store um yeah neither did i until i started talking to them yeah <laughs> yeah but they they seem I awesome yeah, I guess I should have made the connection because when I've watched their episodes, they're always like in a game store, at least before the pandemic they were. Mm -hmm. And I just, I always thought it was like one of those, hey, um, you know, just come film here or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You never know. But, but um, it's, um, oh my God, it's Leslie and Shauna, mm -hmm. the two ladies' names and just re like the nicest people ever. Yeah. And I'm going to put well, it, yeah, it allows me a link. Okay, so yeah. I put a link to their YouTube channel. They do a podcast. Okay. Um, I was going to say, what kind of content do they make? Yeah. They, they do a podcast. It's on, like, iTunes, Google Play, all those. Mm -hmm. um, they also do YouTube videos talking about deck techs or talking about sets. They're, they're very normie like us. Okay. And gotcha. They, they, they make a lot of very casual content. Uh-huh. Um, just it, fun content, too. Yeah. Yeah, they seem great. Um, I yeah, and, and, and we're planning on another EDH game with, with them, you, you, me, and 
Yeah, we're trying to work it out, but yeah, um, our schedules are just... logistics with that many people, you know, yeah. you never know. Um, I okay. remember seeing, um, watching one of your EDH streams with them, and I think one of them played a cat's deck and one of them played like a wolves yeah. or a werewolves deck. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Um, yeah, Leslie played the, the cat's deck, Shauna mm -hmm. played the wolves deck. And yeah. That cat's deck was ridiculously good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I I need to get some some pointers from her because my cat deck is just kind of mediocre. But yeah, well, they seem really cool. I told you I was building a cat deck, but now that the Ren and Sari are out, I'm going to do cat dog. Yeah, that's fun. Dogs and cats. Yeah. No, but yeah, uh, if you haven't already, um, check out Tap That MTG. Follow them on Twitter. Uh, check out their YouTube. Check out their um, uh, podcasts on whatever podcast app you have and yeah. it's out there yeah they deserve it yep they're awesome sweet so um the creator that i wanted to share is um jd of jd greenage that's what he calls his twitch channel he is a twitch streamer and he streams arena um he will once in a while stream like Fortnite or something because his son, mm -hmm. his son sometimes streams. Oh, yeah, I, I watched one of his son streams. He was so cute. <laughs> I don't know. His son is like six or seven and yeah. he's very cute. He comes on the stream a lot. Um, but JD is just, he's really good at magic. Um, he likes to play a lot of mono black, which is my favorite. So, you know. I enjoy watching that, but he's very, very upbeat, really positive. He sings a lot during his stream. Um, he will like um, <clears throat> invite other, like if he sees me or another creator in his chat, he'll be like, oh, hey, jump into my Discord and we can chat and play a game with me like yeah. on his stream. So he's like really cool about it. but. He's not like playing casually because he's playing the ladder and he's really good. I think he, I think I saw that he got to Mythic recently. Um, okay. So he's obviously really good, but his, yeah. but his, but like his streams are super chill, super laid back. Um, he he doesn't have a huge community, but he's been streaming for I think like five years or so. But oh dang, I know he just he ha just hasn't gotten the exposure that he really deserves because yeah. he's really good and his his streams are really great they're very entertaining and they're very positive and he just wants everybody to have a good time so that's who i'm shouting out i will share his twitch channel um i retweet his stuff a lot on twitter too because i really really think he's great i really think what he's doing is great um, as far as I know, he doesn't have any sort of YouTube content. So it's just Twitch. But he streams almost every day, if not every day. So, and he streams during the day and sometimes in the evening. I don't know. He streams a lot. Like, he is streaming a lot. So, um, go check it out. Did you see Daisy's Tale? Was she in here? Um, Zuby, are you frozen? Zuby! Come back, Zuby! So, I think Zuby is frozen. I don't know if my stream is frozen or not. Is it me? A anybody tell me what's happening. Am I still alive? Cursed by Daisy's tail. Okay, I'm still alive. Hey, I'm still alive, but we lost Zuby. So, um, Zuby is gone. Zuby and freezing video, name a more iconic combo. Zuby, where are you? Okay, now it's just double me. We lost Zuby. Um, yeah, Zuby is frozen. Okay, so but that was the end of that was the end of my session. So everybody, go follow JD on um Twitch and also on twitter i did i assimilated him it's double pixie hey everybody what's up 
I don't know what happened to Zuby. Um, we're just gonna wait till he comes back. Maybe his internet froze. Maybe his internet went down. I mean, I could pull it up on Discord, but then it would be on the screen. So I'm just gonna wait. Um, <laughs> hey, it's me. I'm, I'm the literal worst. Hey! what's up so it's just been me by myself <laughs> I'm like so sorry what happened so, it's okay so i'm wondering if i had like i wonder if the whole neighborhood had like a little power blip because so we've been having a heat wave down here oh and it's no been, it's been so freaking hot like even at night there's barely any reprieve oh my gosh and, um, and it's um yeah so my power just flickered Mm. And it came up and everything, but then the internet took a while to come back up too. Well, that's not your fault. Yeah. Um, oh, 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 my camera's not on, is no, it? No, your camera's not on. It's still me. It's double me. Oh, whoops, sorry. It's been <laughs> double me. Camera was off. <laughs> it's been double me, so that was fun. <laughs> Yo! What okay, up? Now I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Okay. So um, sorry. That's okay. I, I can't even remember what we talked about, what we were even talking about. I was about sharing my new favorite streamer, JD, and oh, I told right, everybody yeah. how great he is. And I asked everybody to go follow him on Twitch and on Twitter. Great. Awesome. Yeah. Told you I need a better internet. <laughs> Shut up. Told Evan. you you need a better. Efren. It, it wasn't the internet. It was the freaking. It was the heat. heat. Efren, you can't understand things like that. He, he lives in Texas. In Texas. Yeah, it's you're really in Texas. hot you there. You don't know what real heat is. Oh, dang. Whoa. <laughs> um, okay, so let's move on to our next topic. And this one, this is a real topic. What, the other ones weren't real? No, they were all fake. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to talk about self-care as a content creator. Yes. <laughs> um don't laugh this is real mr kitten's laugh he is he's laughing okay. so i think it's really important i think it's really important because um and i was just talking to somebody about this today there is so much negativity in the magic community like literally about everything Every single product yeah. that Wizards releases, everything they do, everything they say, it's like... And while some of it is valid, like, there's definitely valid criticism. Absolutely. Absolutely. And there are things that should be called out, but every single little thing, like, nonstop content creators are just all the time complaining about it. And... It's just like, wh who is this serving? Like, why? I mean, it's yeah, too much. Um, yeah, I, I, I wish I could remember the name of it right now. But there's actually, you know, with, with social media where, you know, everybody, especially when you go on Twitter and Reddit and Facebook, all that stuff, um, you probably hear the helicopter above my house. Um, <laughs> I didn't. No. So, um you there's you know there, there's a lot of things to be outraged about about and and yeah there's there's stuff that are very valid to be outraged by like especially the black lives matter yes stuff, especially what happened there um, yes you know what's going on with the pandemic and you know everything else I, i'm not discounting that but right. what happens is especially when people like content creators we need to be online and you know have a presence and showcase our content or we need to have use our platform to discuss other stuff I wish I could remember the name of it, but basically it's like an empathy overload mm. where you feel so bad for all this stuff happening and then it's when something else happens, like the, the next big thing happens, whether that's in, you know, magic or something outside of that, you're just it, it's not that you don't care it's it's just getting harder to, like you, you get a sense of overload, I guess mm -hmm. yeah um, and Efren even said, like, it's not just Wizards of the Coast, it's anything anyone yeah. says or does. It's just, like, 
everybody is just wound up so tight. It's like any little thing. Everybody is just... It, it's it's out of control. There's just this insane yeah, I mean, amount of like hatred. I mean, it's always been there. Like like if we want to be honest here, Magic Twitter has always been very toxic and all that. And there there are some very good things about you know I've met a lot of great people on yeah. Twitter. I mean, you're one of them. You know, yeah. Brin and Baltan and all that. There's yeah. some great people. I'm not I'm not saying like oh Magic Twitter is like all freaking terrible, but I mean, let's just be honest. There's a lot of toxicity that comes out of it. Yeah. And it's um it it, it can be difficult dealing with that day to day because as you look through your timeline, you're just seeing nothing but negativity and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, especially pack rack fever. You know, <laughs> but um <laughs> and um it's and with people all cooped up and, you know, still either, you know, you know being in the pandemic or out of yeah. work and stuff like that it, yeah. it's tough and it's really hard to communicate online in any oh, yeah. way because like it's written word like you, it's really hard to communicate like the emphasis of what you're saying like are like are you being sarcastic like it's hard to tell so Everybody immediately takes everything in the worst way possible because we're human. Like, that's what we do. Anybody says anything like, oh, you're making fun of me. Like, so you immediately get defensive. And that's just natural, but it's kind of like all the time. And it is exhausting. And as a content creator, um... I feel like many content creators need to take breaks more often because when you're taking that in all the time and you're mad about everything Wizards of the Coast is doing all the time, that's all you're putting out. And it's just adding to the noise. Like it's just adding back to the negative noise. And it's it's just a lot. And I think it is. that content creators need to start recognizing this and just taking a break. Like, it's okay to just take a week off. Just turn it off. Give yourself yeah. a vacation from it all because you're not in a good mindset when you're taking all of that in and then you're putting all of that back out to your community. You're yeah, just I mean, adding it, it, to the negativity. Yeah, it's easy for us to say that because we're you know we're not full-time or anything so so yeah i can only imagine the people that are full-time and having to do this it's i i I couldn't do it yeah no way in hell i could do this full-time yeah um but it's it's also important to realize that like you said it's okay to take time off it's okay to you know not interact on twitter yeah on social media i mean i i put out a really good or I put out a post today on Twitter and it got a lot of good responses to it, you know, asking other content creators, like, do, does anyone else out there have a full-time job slash career and mm-hmm. also try to do content creation? You know, some days I find it hard to juggle and yeah, there are days where it's, I have to plan out my days a lot of time and mm-hmm. figure out when I'm going to do content. And then sometimes it's just, okay, it's too much. Yeah. It's too much. I need a break. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like, at the end of the day, for most of us, it is a hobby. Like, it's not our job. It's not our full-time income. And it's hard. you got to remember to just keep that in perspective. It kind of goes at yeah. the bottom of the line. It goes below your family. It goes below your actual full-time job. And it's yeah. hard because, you know, you want to keep putting stuff out there so you can grow. And maybe it's your dream to go yeah, full-time. It's- it's that fear of missing out and right yeah th- th- that's what i notice a lot too and you know as stuff like youtube and twitch start becoming viable incomes like you know 10 years ago people would laugh at you and just be like huh yeah you know why would you even try to do youtube and all that and yeah yeah exactly i mean now that it's becoming viable but it's also it, it's it's hard to not recognize when you're 
getting close to that burnout because you want to grow so much right right it's that fear of missing out like oh right. if i don't put out a video today or a podcast today or an article today yeah you know people aren't how gonna, many people am i gonna lose yeah, yeah. exactly and, and same with twitter like if i'm not interacting how many people am i gonna lose it's and yeah. it's so hard to to not think of the numbers game yeah and especially when you're small and you know you have that dream of making it full time oh it's so easy to get sucked into that mentality and yeah yeah jank bank uh, says the culture of it is to try and grow your channel constantly and that grind is very unhealthy yes yes it is so unhealthy like it is you know I, I think about streaming and all that stuff like pixie if you and i streamed like every night or something like you know set you know like you do your stream i do my stream yeah i'm sure we could probably be a lot bigger streamers and all that yeah you know because you you were doing that stream you were, you streamed what like once or twice a week i think yeah or was it once a week or twice a week yeah twice a week and yeah you i was were growing starting, a lot you were starting to grow and all that and yeah you and i talked about that off air and just you just weren't enjoying it nope and all that and and that's another thing to recognize if you're doing something you're not enjoying you need to stop yeah you're gonna eventually get to a point where you're just it's gonna be unhealthy for you you're gonna come out with content that's just crap, right like essentially is it really worth it like is yeah. your mental health really worth it in the end and to get what out of it to, yeah. to really get what what a little bit of notoriety or fame some or recognition I mean, yeah i mean i mean we all want that yes but yeah, of course You've just got to keep it in perspective. Notoriety and recognition, you know? It's, I love it. Yeah, yeah, I would if I got any. <laughs> I'm kidding. Dang. I'm kidding. No, I'm totally kidding. I'm, I, I have a very small community, but I'm really happy with it. Like, legitimately, because these people are my friends. And that yeah. is way more important to me than growing some huge empire where I just don't even know the people that are, you know, interacting with my content. I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. perfectly, I am perfectly fine with where I'm at. <laughs> um, and I think that's what a lot of content creators need to recognize, like understanding what do they really want out of this? Yeah. And, and, and it's tough because, I mean, you and I have talked, it's, and I've, I've even written articles about it. I've had podcast episodes about it where, yeah, I would love to get big. I, yeah. I, I think a lot of people, when they start this, like, they'd love to be popular and, you know, get big and make money off this. Yeah, but at what cost? Yeah. At what cost? Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I think my takeaway from this conversation is that we should normalize content creators taking breaks more often yeah. like mm -hmm. normalize it uh, remember like these are real people and i mean the pressure there's just so much pressure to always make stuff that's why they don't take breaks i don't even i'm not talking about myself because i don't really fall into that personally but a no, lot of people you, like you, they just go really, go go uh, yeah, you don't really have a release schedule or anything for videos. No. And, I mean, the only thing we even have on schedule is this podcast, really. And yeah, and it's every other week. So, like, yeah. it's it's fine. It's not that often. Yeah. But, I mean, I feel like we need to normalize, as a community, normalize content creators taking breaks, like, for their own mental health. Yeah, no, and uh, Jank Bank comes out in another good comment. So much more comes with it, making it big, too. I hear Prof talk about getting death threats, and I just want no part of it. I mean, yeah, yeah I mean, I've never gotten death threats or anything, but I've gotten my fair share of weird interactions with my podcast. I think I've told you. Mm. I think I've told you about some of the stories that I've, that yeah. I've had and, yeah. and getting some weird messages and all that stuff i mean hell just what we were talking about tap that mgg someone likes to impersonate me out there i'm like yeah I'm why I'm, it's weird I'm, I'm literally nobody yeah <laughs> that's um as a woman i really don't have much desire at all to like have a huge following because we all know what comes along with that yeah. the free magic reddit God. going after you essentially 
I, as small as I am, already get so many negative comments all the time on my YouTube videos. I mean, I will just get like dislike bombed on videos. I mean, I'll have like 20 dislikes on a video that has like a hundred views. Like yeah, I know. that already happens to me. So I have no desire to just like blow up and bring all that hatred even oh, more yeah. so like at all yeah, you bring up a good point with that god i yeah th that'd be and plus like if you start going to events you'd have to worry about weirdos and shit yeah fuck that <laughs> yeah well if events ever happen again that's true too yeah. ever ever yeah. <laughs> um so did i say this what Ephraim is saying Zuby, I'm, I'm literally nobody. Pixie, yeah. Did I say that? <laughs> Probably. Did I say that? Sorry. I didn't mean that, Zuby. You're not nobody. You're important to me, and I appreciate Thanks. you. And I'm glad Thank we started you. this podcast together. Yes, exactly. Me too. Yes. Me too. So I look um, forward to but, me but too. To also end that, to end that, or at least end what I'm going to say yeah. in what we're talking about. I'm going to be taking a break from my podcast and for about two weeks, I think, because um, like the past couple weeks, um, it was a lot easier for me to pump them out when work wasn't that busy and all that. And now that work's mm -hmm. getting busier um, and I just did six episodes in a row and all that, it's... I need a little break. Yeah. I need a little vacation. So. Go for it. Um, we are normalizing content creators taking breaks. So do it. Just do it. And don't feel bad about it. I won't. I won't. And I'll probably, um, I don't think I'll stop the streaming completely, but I may just do like one or two streams instead of the, I, I, I'm no longer doing the twice a day Saturday streams anymore. Yeah. It, it was a lot. I mean, it, it was it, it was easier when there was no nothing to do and nowhere to go. Sure. And all that. Yeah. And I know Florida is becoming the epicenter for COVID again. But oh God. Some... Um, <laughs> it it is great content. I've really enjoyed watching as much as I can. Um, but yeah, that's totally understandable. Like you really were doing it a lot. So, yeah. Yeah. And now that things are, I don't I don't want to say getting back to normal, but when now that things are. You know, not completely. Now that people down. are pretending everything is going back to normal. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah exactly. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it, I'm still not really going anywhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like you're having to work a lot more now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Oh, wow. Wow. Everyone, he has to recover from the wild popularity and fanfare of my appearance on Magic with Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh, Efren, you're um, you're something else. Yeah, <laughs> that's the word. Something we love else. You, yep, we sure do. Sometimes. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So I really was gonna say something, and I totally forgot what it was. Was it something with the content creator taking a break and all that, or? Think. Let me think. No. It was, I can't remember. Sorry, everybody. I'm the worst podcast member ever. Well, I mean, Efren is in chat, so it kind of rubs off. Wow. He's, he's saying things that are just like nonsensical and they're very distracting, honestly. <laughs> like I can't, can't concentrate on what I'm supposed to be doing here. Jeez. Yeah. So, okay, that's fine. You're taking a break, and we're happy for you to take a break. Thank you. Get a mental break. I mean, especially after, like, everything that's happened in the last several weeks, not only in Magic, but just, like, the world entirely. Yeah. It's been real stressful. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Yeah, that's about all I can say. Yeah. Yeah. It's been <laughs> a week. Know, that's why I'm drinking wine tonight. Oh shit, I forgot to get one of my beers. I just have water because it's so freaking hot. Oh. Feels like, like my AC is not cooling my house. I mean, it's cooling my house, but God, it's still hot. Oh dang. Um, Must be this light that's on. Yeah, it could be. Could be. Uh, okay, let's play some games. Let's like move on yes. from this depressing topic. Uh, and 
not depressing, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Some, some, some real, real, some real. R- real talk. Let's real move talk. away from the real talk and just go back to the fake talk again. Yay. Yay. All right, all right there, Pixie. What are we playing today? We're the- going to play a game. <laughs> We're going to play a game, a little game I like to call Normie or Arena. Oh, wow. And what do we win? Um, or- If you win, you get to pick an emote for everybody in chat to spam. And if you don't win, I get to pick an emote for everybody in chat to spam. Sweet. Okay. So right. you either have to get all of these correct, or if you miss any of them, then you lose. Do you want to explain um, how how we play the or how I play the game? Yeah, so this game is called Normie or Arena, and I'm gonna say a phrase. I'm gonna make a statement, and Zuby, you're gonna answer whether the statement is a normie or whether the statement is arena. So <laughs> I'm gonna say a statement, and you're gonna say normie or arena. So I'm gonna right. say right. okay, and it. so we have to do this as fast as possible in like. I'm not going to set a timer. I'm just going to say them all. But we're going to say the timer is like 30 seconds. All right. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready? Normie or arena? All right. Okay. And here we go. Uses voice actors for generic planeswalker phrases. Wait, normie? No, arena? What? Yes, arena. (laughs) Okay. Forgets their triggers. Normie. Yes. Never misses a trigger. A- arena. Yes. Freezes up right when you're about to win and ruins the game. Both. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Communicates in only emotes. Arena. Yes. Could I would have taken both also. Okay. A floating glowing sphere teaches you how to play magic. Arena. No one teaches you how to play magic, and you're not very good. Normie. Has a diverse pet collection. Normie. I'm going to go with both here. I'm going to go with both. Okay. Okay. It's okay. definitely okay. both. <laughs> Usually plays a game in under five minutes. Normie. No. Arena. No. Come on, Zuby. Wait, arena? Okay, okay. Can build a deck with every card in standard. Arena? Yes. Builds a deck with whatever jank they have laying around. Normie. Yes! That's it. That's it. You did not win. You did not win at all. Those were tough questions. Come on, Zuby. They were tough. Well, I wish you'd done better than that, honestly. Dang. We're going to spam not like this. Oops. Sorry for disappointing. I wish you'd done better. Okay. (laughs) That's why we're choosing not like this emotes, okay? We are spamming not like this in the chat, everybody. Oh, my God. Yep. It's happening right now. I'm apparently the worst. Wow. Normie or Arena. It's not that hard, Zuby. Jeez. It is. Those were tougher questions than before. Well, that, you know, you've had, you've, we've played this before, so we've got to just bring it up the next level every time we play. You better be ready for it. I guess. I guess. Wow. I know. I need to do another one of those because I really enjoyed the um. It's fun. The the Godzilla one that yeah. I did. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun, right? Do y'all like Daisy sleeping right here? Isn't this precious? She is ridiculously cute. I just love her so much. Um, okay, so we've got our next game that we're gonna do. Yeah. Um, we're doing another evaluations game. Um. Like, we rate the cuteness of cards. Oh, yeah. We're doing it. What are we rating and, this time? Uh, we we rated, what, we did goblins before, and yes. we did kittens. We did cat. We did, and, like, the cats of Ikoria? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then we also did goblins as well. So then what we're doing tonight is we're going to rate rats. Rats! Okay. This is in yes, honor so of my new rats EDH deck. That's right. You're doing Marunar, Marunar, M- 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 Marunar, Marunar. Hold on, Mero. M- Marunar. 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 I'm trying so hard to say this word, and I just can't. Honestly. I know. I know. L- let me let me go ahead and share my screen here. 
Um, okay. It, it's the wheel, but um. It's the so, wheel. All right. So the way we play this game is, I show up a card on the screen, and um, we have to rate it like between one to ten. One being, oh my gosh, disgusting. Ten yes. Being, I it's wanna, the cutest thing I I've ever this. seen. Yeah. Cutest thing ever. Mm -hmm. So, all right, and here we go. Here's the first one. We've got the rats of Black MTG. Spin. Whoa. Bog rats. Okay. Six edition. Um, yeah. I Thanks hate them. All. This is getting a two from me. Uh, this is getting like a one. Look at their tails. Their tails look like worms or yeah. something. Yeah. And the baby. And do you see the baby in the back that's just like doesn't have hair? Oh it's... my god. That's a baby? Yeah. Oh my god. It is. Oh, that's disgusting. I mean, don't you know what baby mice look like? That's what they look like. They don't have hair. I forgot. Okay. I haven't had I haven't had a baby mouse since I was like a little kid. Aw. Okay. All right. Yeah, so, they get a two for me. I don't like them. Yeah, definitely a one. All right. Why isn't it letting me? <laughs> a one. Okay. All right. Next one is we got Nazumi Cutthroat. Oh, okay. Um, originally from Champions of Kamigawa. But why isn't it letting me okay whatever this stupid thing um this is a little bit better but not great um i give him about a four i was gonna say four yep i was gonna say yeah. four mm -hmm. he, he definitely looks um more inviting than the other like the bog rats i mean right on, those are, those are the, gross. yeah i i feel like those things are gonna give me rabies for sure yeah Okay, so yeah, we both agree on a four then. Yeah, he's menacing, but not the worst. Hey, Ginger Joe, how's it going? Whoops. Hey, Ginger ah, Joe. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. All right. Come on, why isn't this letting me? There we go. Okay, this stupid thing. It's not letting me switch the picture. Okay, okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Servant of Ani. This hey, is, Colin. So, okay. The um, there was a pre-built deck, like like one of those like intro decks they uh -huh. had back in Kamigawa. Okay. And it's when I came back to Magic, I got the Ink Eyes deck. Ooh. So that this card is near and dear to my heart because it's one of the times I got back into Magic, and she is so good. Yeah, I have this card in my Rats deck, but I have the Secret Lair version. Yeah, Which is that, the art, art is, really is good. kind of similar to this, honestly. I give this one a seven. Um, she looks scary, so I'm actually gonna go with a six. A six? Yeah. I just I, mean, I yeah, feel like she she's gonna kill looks, me. Yeah, she looks like she'd be able to slice your throat. Like who really is quickly. Oni? That's a good question. Who's Servant Oni? Servant of Oni. Right. It's probably some Kamigawa thing. I don't okay. know. Just like the master rat? Probably. Yeah. Sure. So you give it a six, I give it a seven. Yeah. Um, all right. So our next one is Nazumi <gasps> Shadow Watcher. Ah. Uh... He's a little bit he's a little bit cute. He's got that like he's got that little like mustache thing going. No, he's got red eyes. He's evil. Th this is getting wow. four. So from red me. eyes equal evil? Yeah. This okay. is getting a four from me. All right, I'll give it a five. I'm, I'm a little bit nicer. Onis are demons. That's right. That's right. Japanese spirit. Oni that's means right. demon in Japanese. All right. Nazumi Bone Reader. These are all like a bunch of rat ninjas and stuff. Um, I don't like he this. Is... What? No. His... Splinter. His feet are too big and his tail is gross. I wish you could see my face right now. Like... <laughs> I'm giving this one an eight because he reminds me of Splinter. He's getting a four. Wow. Yeah, his okay. feet are too big. Look at his feet. So, They're weird. He's a rat. Rats don't have feet like that. This is not proportional. This is strange. This is freakish. It's a fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, I'm giving him a four. Sorry. Splinter. Splinter would be so disappointed at you. Sorry, Splinter. <laughs> sorry, it's, not sorry. It's Master Splinter with Liliana hands. Yeah, because look at the purple <laughs> magic. 
I love it. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I love it. Um, this one, <laughs> Jittery Rats. Holy God! <laughs> it's hard to find good-looking rats, okay? <laughs> All right, two. Two. I, I give this one about a one. Because look at the ones in the background. They're yeah, they're of, evil. Um, they're... Especially the one right in the green gas, like right behind the main one. Oh my gosh. One. What is that gas? Like, did the rat fart? What's happening here? It's the ooze from Ninja Turtles. Bottom feeders sometimes rise to the top. Ooh. Ew. Very menacing. Look at his feet. He's got like webbed feet too. And the hands. What? Those are. That's not a rat. This is like a mole. This is like a ground mole. Those hands. That is a ground mole. Okay. I'm. Yes. You know ground moles. They're in the ground and they make little holes yeah. and they have hands like that. This thing yeah. is. Everything is wrong about this. Tom, what were you thinking? Tom is the artist. Tom Wannerstrand. All right, so this next one, I think you'll like this next one. This one's a little bit cuter. Burglar rat. I do like burglar rat. Okay, this this one is getting an He's cute. eight from me. He, he, oh, okay, an eight. I was going to say a nine because he looks so cute and cuddly. Okay, I'm. you're being very generous. I'm giving it an eight. It still you're, does have the it's tail. It's much cuter than the other ones we've seen. It's, it, is, it is the cutest so far. But not the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. So the, that's the why I got it. The thing worry about, since it lives in a sewer, it might carry, like, the plague or something. Yeah, definitely. So. Definitely. I like it, though. That one looks cute. All right. Ravenous rats. Oh, God. I don't like them. They've got red eyes. They're, they're cuter, though. They're better I mean, than other... Yeah. Uh, I give about a five. I was going to say four. I was going to say four. Okay. <laughs> you're you're writing everything like one number higher than me apparently yeah i guess i'm in a i don't know in a okay this one pestilent rats okay that one's cute okay that That's one, like one is really cute actually both it, of them are this one is getting a nine easy nine from me oh dang you're being i was gonna give a an eight okay <laughs> like is that a button on the ground in front of it it looks like it. I love yeah. it. Look at that. That's cute. I don't feel like its legs are proportionally accurate, but I'm still going to go with a nine because it's the cutest one I've seen so far. You know, in, in Jeff A. Menges' defense here, this was made back when they literally had to make the art the size of the card itself. What? Yeah. That, that's how they first did the art back then, back in the early 90s. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Is that why it was all so bad? Wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how they used to do art back then. Oh. That's and wild. This one made in 19 It says is that 95? It says 95, 1995 on the card. Well, well, it says 95 down there, but on it looks like on the picture itself it says 93. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So, Interesting. So if it was painted at that size, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. I'm. So, I yeah. don't regret so, my nine at all. So you give it a nine. I give it an eight. Yeah. Okay. All right. We've got ear splitting rats. Um. Okay. They have red eyes, but uh. This one looks cute. The one that's sniffing up in the air. Yeah, I don't hate them. We're gonna go six here. Yeah, I was gonna say six too. That that um, seems about right. Yeah. Their tails look a little creepy, but. Yeah. But they're oh, that okay. One's holding on to his tail. He looks I see scared. It. It's like he's holding on to his his own tail. I guess so. I think so. Maybe. Yeah, he's like a little bit nervous. That's okay. Yeah. Rats come in one amount too many. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> wow. All right. So we both give it a six. Yeah. Um, next, we got Okiba Gang Shinobi. Okay. I just look badass. Yeah. I think I opened this in one of my mystery boosters. I give, um, I give these. I give these two a seven. They're not very cute, though. They look mean. Yeah. Um, six. Six. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they don't look as deadly as ink eyes, though. Oh, they look kind of scary, though. Skull snatcher. Oh this my god. Scary. 
I can't even tell what's happening here. So it looks like he's in a swamp or something, ready to... He's wearing like, armor? Sneak up on someone? Yeah. Okay, two. I hate it. This one's I, evil. I give, it, I give it a four for coolness. What's on his face? He could be like Master Splinter's evil brother or something. Oh, I don't like the evil rats. I really don't. <gasps> Dream pipe firm. Okay, this one's cute. I give this one two. Nine. nine. I'm sorry. Nine. What did I say? Two. Yes, nine. I that, agree. That one is, that I one love that. Cute. Who's the artist on that? It is Trevor Claxton. I really like that one a lot. I like everything about that picture. Yeah, the I, I don't give him a 10 because he might have the plague on him. Right. It's still a rat. <laughs> <laughs> but he he looks cute, though. <laughs> like, that, that would be a New York sewer rat I would not mind seeing. Yeah. Um, the Jank Bank says that the BDSM rat makes him uncomfortable. The BDSM rat? Yeah, right? the previous one. The one with, like, the leather all over his face and stuff. Yeah. That? Yeah. Oh, I was thinking just more ninja stuff. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well. Oh, oh, well, what Efren says, Trevor Claxton actually painted his pet rat for this picture. That was the inspiration. Oh. No. Eh, Zuby, we can't believe that. That isn't true. Efren just made that up. You're probably right. There's no way I that's a, true. I need a source on that, Efren. <laughs> There's no way. See, he's laughing. That is not true. Efren, Efren you troll. Ah! <laughs> I hate it. Asking to zoom me. One. One. Uh, yeah, I'll give this a one, too. I hate it. I don't know. I can't. Like, it's eyes. I just can't. All right. We've got two more rats after this. Okay. Um, I think we may have gone, gotten pet drain pipe vermin may have been the cutest one. Oh, no. Oh, God. This one. A one. <laughs> oh, God. Definitely one. That thing looks sick, and I'm so sad for it. Honestly. It's, it's got infect. Oh, God. They look ter Those are a thing of nightmares. This creature deals damage to creatures in the form of minus one, minus one counters, and to players in the form of poison counters. What? Yeah, you know what poison is, right? No. So if some, so if a player gets 10 poison counters, they lose the game automatically. <gasps> Doesn't matter how much life they have. So what does that mean? This creature deals damage to creatures in the form of minus one, minus one counters. So instead of dealing like actual combat damage, that creature would have neg one, neg one counters put on it depending on how much damage it de deals. So since this deals two damage, a creature that blocks it would get two negative one, negative one counters. So even if the rat doesn't kill it, would those counters stay? Yes. <gasps> what? Yeah. That, that That's why a lot of people hate Infect. That sounds Cause, awesome. Because not, not only to your creatures, but should a player get 10 poison counters, you're dead. You're done. Yeah, so like if they don't have any blockers and you do damage to the, Yo. just straight to your opponent. <gasps> yeah, there, there's, um, there, there's a legacy deck that can win on like turn two with infect. Oh my it's god. Insanity. Yeah. I like that a lot. Uh oh. I I'm so sorry, chat, and I'm so sorry to the world of Magic the Gathering. Um I've introduced Pixie to Infect. <laughs> I so really like it. These rats though, they're getting a one. Oh yeah. A one. But I feel um, sorry for them. Yeah, I've got um one more the last one here. And it is disease <gasps> carriers. A one. Yeah, I'll give them a one too. Oh but my god! I've kind, of got, I've kind of got nostalgia for this one here because this one came out in Urza's Legacy, and that's um, that's when I first started playing back in Urza's Saga and all that. So I have fond memories of playing with this card. Aww, but it's not cute though. We're rating by the cuteness. Yeah, no, it's it. He's definitely a one. Yeah. But. I've got nostalgia for my disease sorry, carrier. Sorry, disease carrier. Yep. Sorry, not sorry. Wow, there are not that many cute rats. Oh, hey. Not not really. Um, Now, I, I should have... um. 
See, I, I found all those cards like way before Jumpstart came out and all that in Commander 21 or t or t 2020 and whatever. So I don't know if there's been new Rats cards. That, I don't um, think so. Have there been? I don't think there have. I, I don't know. Maybe. I don't think so. There's just not that many. Um, so the rats are in the secret layer rats. All of that art is good. Yeah, I didn't I didn't pick those. I didn't put them in here because yeah. um it just would have been too easy. Yeah. To, like, they're, they're special. They're all, like, super cute. Right. They're that. supposed to be cute. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, there's not that many cute rats though. It's kinda sad. Yeah. No, it's there's tough ones, but yeah, we've got other games like this. We've got other creatures. I've got um Yeah. What other ones do I have ready for us for next time? I've got vampires ready for us. Oh, Maybe. we've got to do vampires. <gasps> oh, we will. That needs um, to be an entire episode because there's just like so many. Yeah, I have <laughs> um the three six. And there's seven. new ones too. Oh yeah, I might as well start looking through them and there's definitely jumpstart vampires. Yeah, and the, the other two creature types I have so far, besides vampires, that I want us to do are plants and angels. Oh, plants are good, and angels are good, too. There are some cute plants out there. It's true. Yeah, for, for angels, though, that one's going to be hard to find, like, a single ugly angel or anything. Mm, there's there's got to be something out there. there there's some evil-looking ones that I can think of. Mm -hmm. I don't know the name of the card, but I feel like I've seen some art that is like a scary, evil-looking angel. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, so that was our rating our rats. Let's... Yes. Uh, oh, Baltan wants us to do dinos. Let's dinosaurs. rate dinos by their cuteness. What are... Does, does Baltan like dinosaurs or something? Does Baltan like dinosaurs? I have no idea. <laughs> Brazella um is not an angel, right? Though are they angels? Oh, 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 he he's talking about the the two angels when they that, meld. Uh, yeah. That meld, yeah. 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 That, and that is technically an angel, yeah. Are they, are they are they are yeah, they angels they, they when are they angels. meld? I, so... I think it is an angel when it melds. Oh, I think it's like an angel horror. Yeah. Maybe. We could add that to the list. Yeah. I like that card. I think it's weird and fun. Um, okay, so let's do our giveaway for the other playmat. Yes, yes. So Baltan won the first one. And yes. so for anybody that is newer in chat um, that hasn't entered the one before, go ahead and press one in chat now to enter in another giveaway for the playmat. Pixie, show the what the playmat looks like. I will. I will show everybody what the playmat looks like. It looks so good. I'm so excited for it. Okay, hold on. Here's the playmat. Baltan, you don't get to enter again. <laughs> since Type... you won the first one. Yes, Baltan, you can't win two playmats. If you right, want so to be entered to win... Playmat needs more sexy rest. No, Efren. Okay, I can't... I can't make rats, okay? I'm very limited in my abilities. And honestly, the fact that I made this, I, I'm really surprised at myself. All right, so I got Jank Bank and Colin O'Clock in there too. Yes. We're adding oh, and, folks. And I guess Efren. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. And I still got, I still got NCPD Tom who was here earlier. Okay. Since he entered in before. Okay. Anybody else? Type a one in chat if you want to be entered. Do, 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 do. It does look does very Ginger Miami. Does Ginger Joe want to enter? <gasps> Ginger Joe, do you want to enter? Should I just put him in there anyway? Whoops. He's still in, He's still in chat. Yeah, we should just put him in there. <clears throat> For sure. All right, he's in there too. Yeah. Um, I really want one of these playmats myself. Oh, Kiyoji, Kiyoji. Takanuchi. Um, it's for a playmat. We're doing a Do giveaway. Yeah, for this playmat that's on the screen. It's this Magic for Normies playmat that I designed. Press one to enter in for chat. 
Oh, MTG strategist, do you want to be, um... Come on! Type a one in chat and you're entered into the giveaway for the Playmed. Do it! All right. Kyoji, I've got you. <laughs> what kind of person <laughs> will we go by here? Shut up, Efren. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He's literally the worst. He just doesn't stop, does he? <laughs> I'm about yeah. to take them off the, the <laughs> list of names here. <laughs> don't do it, don't. Come on. He's just trying to have a good time. MTG Strategist, do you want a chance to win? JJ. Type a one in chat, and you can be Type entered to win. This sweet magic for normies play, Matt. We're going to do this giveaway here in just a minute. Oh, awesome. I said the name correctly. Yes. Kyoji. Um, I guess JJ doesn't want to enter, but I should wow. put his name in there anyway. Wow. Yeah, we could put JJ's name in anyways. Let's just do it. He gets no choice. <laughs> you are entered. <laughs> um, uh, so, so if one of the people that wins that I forced to put in here, you got to pay for shipping and um, oh, extra fees. Dang. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, dang. <laughs> No, nobody has to pay for shipping. Um, Inks yeah. Gaming is is coordinating this, so they will be sending the playmat directly out to our so I winners. Take, I can take our names off the list now. Now that we've got more people. Yeah. Um, right, um, <clears throat> let's just go ahead and run it. Are you? Sh uh, let me put you back on the screen. Are you sharing your screen? Okay. Yep. Oh, am I? No, uh, you're not. not on the screen. Okay, let me um, share my screen here. Okay, yep, you are you are sharing your screen now. So uh, who likes Oops All to Fairy the set? Ah, uh, no, not me. I like Fairy Emancipation the set. <laughs> not it. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, are we ready to spin? Let's do it. The, uh, spin the wheel. Shut up, Efren. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> You, you want to see what I'm actually hiding? Look, nothing. All right. He already closed it, Efren. God. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right. All right. Are you ready to spin this wheel? See who's gonna win. Yes. All right. I have Efren is secretly the worst. All right. Here we go. Who's gonna, who's win? gonna win the play mat? Kiyoji. Kiyoji Takanuchi. Congratulations, Kyoji! You won the play mat. Um, you're gonna need to send me your shipping address, please. Can you message me on Twitter, and then I will get it over to Inked Gaming, and they are gonna send you one of these sweet play mats. Congratulations! Oops, I don't know. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing right now. What are you doing? If anybody else is spun interested, the wheel again, and and Efren won the second wheel spin, but that one doesn't count. Oh God! It's I changed it back. We didn't see that. I went back Good. to the play mat. Nobody saw that. I'm sharing yeah, the cause, link. Because Efren shouldn't win anyway. No, definitely not. <laughs> we love you, Efren. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just, I shared the link in chat for the playmat if anybody who did not win really wants to get one, you're, you're welcome to get one. I want to get one. I think they're pretty cool. So oh there's Efren, the link. He's, 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 he's on, literally he's out of control tonight. Don't get too excited, Kyoji. It doesn't even have stitched edges. <laughs> it doesn't need stitched edges. Most playmats don't have stitched edges. God. Oh my god. He's just He's out of control, honestly. Um <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> Oh my god. I think that's is this the end? Yes, this is <laughs> the end. He's <laughs> we have to end it so he'll yeah. stop saying stuff in chat. Um congratulations, Baltian, <laughs> and congratulations, Kyoji. Yes, congratulations. Um, on your playmat win. And thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out with us for this episode tonight. Whoops. Yeah. Sorry, Zuby. I just got rid of your face. Damn. Wow. 
real talk right now. Um, I'm gonna send a raid over. Who who's streaming right now? Is Skybill streaming? Uh, oh, she Jan is streaming. Jana right is now. streaming too. Okay, but we went to Jana last time, so whoops, hello. We will send y'all over to Skybills. Yay! Yay! So everybody, again, thank you for watching. Have a great night. Congratulations to the winners Bye. of the play mass, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We, ha oh, we have to yeah, sit we here for five seconds until the raid goes through. <laughs> Bye. Raid <Right> now. Bye. <laughs> Bye, friends. Bye. Did it go? Did it go? Yeah, it went. It went. Let's see.